Do you or somebody that you know suffers from lymphoma? Well, then uh, the following two things are very important for you to know, okay? I am Ariel Lopez Chavez, I'm a medical oncologist, and in the following slides, I'm going to talk to you about two things that every person with lymphoma should know about their lymphoma. The first thing, it's the type of lymphoma that they have, and the second one, it's called the stage, okay? So I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about each of them so that it's clear to you what exactly you need to ask your doctor, okay? In regards to the type of the lymphoma, uh, you should ask your doctor the technical name of the lymphoma. In general, lymphomas are uh, classified uh, in... Uh, something called Hodgkin lymphomas and another thing called non-Hodgkin lymphomas. And essentially, if the uh, lymphoma is called Hodgkin, uh, you know, th that's it, it's basically Hodgkin lymphoma. However, if they tell you that you suffer from non-Hodgkin lymphoma, then non-Hodgkin lymphoma is divided in many different other types, okay? And those types will sound something like follicular lymphoma, lymphoblastic lymphoma, diffuse large B cell lymphoma, marginal zone lymphoma, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Many, many different types of lymphoma exist. But it's very important that you ask your doctor specifically what type of lymphoma you have, okay? Uh, this is some information that physicians did not use to share to patients because the information they could find on their own was uh, very limited. But now that we have the internet, then uh, you can easily find a lot of information about your lymphoma. But it is very important that you know specifically what type of lymphoma you have, okay? And the second very important thing is that you ask the stage of the lymphoma, okay? Like in any other cancer, the stage of the lymphoma, it's very important, okay? And the stage basically, um, you know, it's a classification that allows doctors to uh, classify your cancer according to the size, the location, and how we spread the uh, cancer is in your body, okay? Uh, so this information is very important because that will help physicians, you know, guide their treatment and tell you a little bit more about the prognosis, okay? How you're going to do with the treatment, how long you're going to live, and all that stuff, okay? Uh, so, in general, most lymphomas and most cancers will have a classification system that goes from 1 to 4, okay? 1 being a very, very small cancer, just localized in uh, one organ and has not spread anywhere else. In stage 2, it's a little bit of a bigger cancer, maybe has spread to uh, uh, areas, more areas around the same organ, but also has not spread to many other areas around the body. Stage 3, it's a bigger tumor, mainly um, maybe that the tumor has spread to uh, lymph nodes around that organ, okay, and it's a little bit more extensive, okay, and finally stage four is when the cancer has spread from uh, the original site where it was located to other parts of the body, and that's when we have, um, you know, cancers that have spread, for example, from the uh, lymph nodes in the groin to have spread to the lungs and to the brain and to many other areas of the body. Now, one thing very important, the stage just tells you about the localization of the tumor, how it spread it is. It's really not going to tell you anything about um, a lot about the prognosis because uh, many patients with lymphoma, for example, you know, they have a, a, a stage four lymphoma, you know, are, are cured with the, with the conventional therapies that we currently have. So, the staging system basically is, uh, uh, you know, go is going to help us um, figure out where uh, the cancer is located and how it spread it is, okay? And, um, and, and that's, that's basically what the staging system is, is supposed to do, okay? So now what to do with that information, okay? First of all, the more information you have, the better. Okay, uh, with this information, you will be able to, you know, go to the internet and search specifically for the information that will help your, will be helpful uh, to you for your type of cancer and the stage that you have. Okay, it's very important that you know that, uh, you know, all cancers are different and even similar types of cancers, you know, um, vary their treatment is going to vary depending on the stage 
of the cancer, stage 1 follicular lymphoma versus stage 4 follicular lymphoma or stage 1 diffuse large cell lymphoma versus stage 4 diffuse large cell lymphoma, the treatment is going to be very different as well as the prognosis. Okay, so very important that with this information you will be able to search uh, uh, in, uh, in the internet for a specific information and you will be able with that information to ask more questions to your doctors yeah, ask about the specific treatments and if you want a second opinion for example then you will have the tools you know to ask for the specific doctors uh, that you um, that will be the most helpful for for your case okay and finally having more information is going to give you more confidence and more peace of mind that um, you're doing everything that you can to fight your cancer and uh, that everything is being done according to uh, the current standards of care okay well i hope this information was helpful to you and thank you so much for listening uh, please stay tuned mm -hmm.